e-commerce is the topic of the evening and we begin with a small presentation that i would make which will set the tone for the topic uh, friends i'm agnello rajesh i'm chairman for saint angelo's vncd ventures we are one of the largest villa developers in india uh, with multiple projects across mumbai chennai coimbatore and madurai i'm a serial entrepreneur with business interest in wide range of businesses across the globe especially now a lot of involvement has happened for me in e-commerce and each one of you also need to be doing that in some form or the other so let's basically understand what is e-commerce friends e-commerce the simple terms is the buying and selling of goods and services or transmitting of funds or data over an electronic network primarily the internet friends these business transactions occur either business to business which we call commonly as b2b or business to consumer which is b2c or consumer to consumer or consumer to business the terms e-commerce and e-business are often used interchangeably uh, it's a very common terminology being used today for everybody whether it's a pan wala or somebody selling jewelry everybody is using e-commerce and the platform so how exactly does e-commerce work friends e-commerce is powered by the internet where customers can access an online store to browse through and place orders for products or services via their own devices that's the interesting part every person can be an operator of or uh, e-commerce activity as the order is placed the customer's web browser will communicate back and forth with the server hosting the online store or website almost all of us in business opportunities club and almost all of you on the audience side are using e-commerce very actively and proactively so let me share some types of e-commerce friends the types of e-commerce that we are used to or we are aware about are b2b that is business to business b2c that business to consumer consumer to consumer consumer to business business to administration and consumer to administration by administration i would definitely like to connect it with the government departments and agencies so that's what e-commerce all about there are multiple advantages of e-commerce one is availability aside from the outages or scheduled maintenance e-commerce sites are available 24 by 7 so irrespective of which part of the world you are in irrespective of what time you are at you are able to access information without moving anywhere but at the comfort of the laptop or the mobile to view and access information and an opportunity to transact speed of access while shoppers uh, in a physical store can be slowed by crowds e-commerce sites run quickly and they don't have opening hours or closing hours friends wide availability amazon's first slogan was earth's biggest bookstore that was the first slogan of amazon which started the e-commerce site by just selling books and today amazon is one of the world's largest organization one of the world's most valuable organization and the promoter director jeff bezos has been considered as the one of the richest man on planet earth a man who sold books is today selling pin to plane thanks to the power of technology thanks to the platform of internet and thanks to consumers being educated on how they can buy and sell on the platform created by amazon easy accessibility is another feature and advantage customer shopping a physical store may have a hard time determining which uh, uh, on which location in that shop a particular product is but it is not so on e-commerce international reach brick and mortar businesses sell to customers who physically visit their stores which means they are geographically restricted in terms of how far they can sell their products but it online it can be anybody selling any product in any part of the world at any part of the time personalization and product recommendations e-commerce sites can track visitors uh, browsing their sites they can also search and they can also look into the purchase history of the customers so friends let me share some key facts of e-commerce it is estimated that around 35% of google product searches are converted into purchases within just 5 days that's the trend that's the data around 50 51% of digital buyers conduct purchases via their smartphone so you can imagine the reach because each man today has a minimum of one phone so we are now used to ha people having not only more than one handset but having more than one sim card in each handset so if there are i know people having two handsets and four numbers because each handset has a capacity of almost two mobile numbers at the same time so digital buyers are conducting their purchases through mobile phones which makes us very widely available if we are available on the e-commerce friends around 93% of online shoppers declared that visual appearance of an online store plays a very key factor in the purchasing decision so making yourself look good is the first uh, feel good factor that can be created on e-commerce it is estimated that around 80% of online shoppers don't make purchases from e-commerce sites 
that they have problematic return policies, which means we really need to have a transparent, strong, and a robust re return policy, which instills confidence in the buyer's decision-making process. It is estimated that 85% of all products purchased via social media platforms come from Facebook. So Facebook and Instagram are definitely one of the key drivers of e-commerce activities that are happening across the world today. So that's about from me.